Hello, today I'm going to show you where you can download a free risk register pre-filled with the 20 most common risks that you're going to face on your projects. Each risk has options for reducing the likelihood of the risk occurring and what you can do if the risk actually happens. We're going to download the risk register and then I'll take you through a few things that you might find useful so that you can use it for your own projects. So first of all, I'll go to my site, which is stakeholdermap.com. We'll just click on the risk menu, top 20 project risks. I'm then going to use this link here to jump down to the download. And I think I'll grab the, the more recent version of Excel here. So we'll just let that download. OK, and here's my risk register with all of the project risks pre-filled. You can see that we've got a drop down list here for selecting the likelihood, impact and severity of the risk. And we also have some conditional formatting, um, which means that the color of the cell changes as we change the impact severity or impact or likelihood level. So let's say that you want to change these drop down menus. That's very simple to do. Just click on this tab that says drop downs here and you can see each of the menu set out here and you can simply overwrite what we've written. So it might be that you're using a number system. And then if we knit back to our risk log, you can see that we've now got a numbering system instead of high, medium, and low. Uh, notice that conditional formatting has gone away, and uh, I'll show you how to adjust that if you do want to use it. OK, let's go back to where we were. Now, let's say that actually we want more than three options in our menu. Um, maybe we've got a not applicable possibly option. So what I'm going to do here is add that menu item. I need to go back to my column. I'm going to select all. I'm going to go to data. So I'm going to go to list. My source is B4 to B8. Click OK. There we go. And I've now got a menu with high, medium, low and not applicable. I can also do the same, of course, to the impact column and severity if I wish. Now, if I want to change the colours um, or extend the conditional formatting, I can go to Home, Conditional Formatting drop down here. And I'm just going to click on Manage Rules. Here you can see the rules that are set up with the template by default. If I just click into this one, we've got it set so that uh, cells are only formatted if they contain a specific word or text. In this case, cell background is formulated with red if it contains the specific text, hi. And I don't need to worry about whether that's typed with a capital H or not, because of course it's a menu item. So let's click OK on that. Let's say that we want to add a rule to handle our new menu item of not applicable. So I'm going to click Format Only Cells That Contain. I'm going to say Specific Text Containing Applicable. And my format is going to be grey. OK, click OK. All right, now at the moment this applies just to D8. I want to get it to apply to all of the rows. So just D8 colon dollar sign E dollar sign 500. Now the dollar signs mean that these are absolute rather than relative references. I'm going to click OK. Now if I select my drop down menu and click not applicable, you can see the background color changes. So it's that simple to adjust. 
Now, we have a severity table here that we're using. Um, it may well be used may well be that you're using one that's four by four, five by five, or maybe you're using a numbering system. Um, obviously you can replace this one with yours. Um, you can of course edit, delete, add to this log um, as much as you like. Uh, you can also remove the logo here if you wish and replace it with your own, or you might just want to delete that row or hide it entirely up to you. So if you want to edit a risk, it's really very simple. Just uh, click inside the cell that you want to edit. I usually drag this little uh, text bar here down so I can see what I've got. Um, let's say that I want to add a couple of mitigating actions here. Um, I'm just going to press the Alt key and return to add another row within my cell. Um, and I'm going to say, define clear KPIs that measure whether the project is a success and whether it has met its purpose. This is quite a good mitigating action to have to treat uh, this risk because it's very, very difficult to define key performance indicators if you don't have your project purpose and need well-defined. Okay, I'm just gonna close that. Okay, I'm sure you don't need me to show you how to add or delete um, rows or data within Excel, but of course you're free to do that uh, to your heart's content. Okay, so I hope you find this risk register really useful. It is pretty much the most popular template on my website, um, and uh, I hope it carries on being used uh, and being useful. Okay, thank you.